Hi family, Barbara Manconi Smith here. I wanted to come up today because I, some of you are transitioning into the second phase of the lymphatic cleanse and I know that this is a time where you know, you're wondering, should I continue? Should I just give up? Some symptoms are coming up, the detox is becoming real. Um, so this is the time you need me here. That's why I decided to do this live just for you guys. And I know that some of you will watch this on the replay, but I hope that it will still uh, be useful to you. So what's happening to your body? What, why is it that you're feeling, I'm receiving a lot of messages from you guys saying that you're feeling unease, uh, a lot of feelings are bubbling up, uh, some things are getting much better, but some things are not, not uh, getting better yet. So you're wondering, questioning, uh, old habits, self-sabotaging, limiting beliefs, um, cravings are coming up again. And so this is the time where you need more support because we all get weak and um, we were never meant to do this alone. So what is happening? So first and foremost, um, first and foremost, when we get healthier, when we overcome, not just healthier, when we overcome disease, and I know that a lot of you are here because you either reach a plateau or because you uh, needed the support and the accountability, that's what I'm here for, that's what the group is here for, um, but mostly because you wanna get better. You want to get better, and I, in my autoimmune program, I ask people to do a why video. I ask them to video themselves, try to search deep uh, into their soul as to why do they want to get better. Of course, we all want to not feel pain, um, but it's not that simple. It's more than just that. So, uh, you have to remind yourself why you're in this. Why you're in this, and what are you trying to achieve? Your why is key, you guys, to remind yourself in these moments where you your fate may be shaking, where your doubts uh, may start to creep up again. This is the time in which you ask yourself or remind yourself why is it that you're doing this, okay? So um, the reason why most of you are here, it's because you have, you want to be free. And life, uh, whether it's the past few months or the past few years, have not, has not been the same. The same to what you used to remember when maybe you were pain-free or when you did not have the limitations that uh, possible conditions uh, are causing you. Uh, and so it's common for us to think about wanting to go back to where we were. I want my life back, we often say. Um, but the truth is, there's no going back. None of you will ever be the same. None of you is ever going to go back to where it was, be where you, uh, he or she was before. So what we need to look at is going forward and what is our life going to look like going forward? What is our life going to look like once we don't have, um, the, we don't have to deal anymore with the pain and the imbalances? Uh, but this shift, um, guys, it's not just a physical shift. Is first and foremost an inner shift, an emotional shift, a spiritual shift. And I promise you, this is the truth. This is not just something that I'm saying to just be lovey-dovey and say, yes, love yourself. This is not about this. Is it truly about the major shift that needs to happen inside each one of you? Let's start with cravings, for instance. Cravings are there. And a lot of you get either very... Um, very uh, enraged with the fact that you're not able to eat the food that you're actually craving, even if this food is seemingly healthy, right? But be because maybe it may be out of the program, you know, you you're fighting, you're resisting, and everything goes well when, you know, you have energy and you're feeling better, but those days in which your energy tanks, and it's normal that it does, because you're moving toxicity through your body. Remember, toxicity doesn't, doesn't just poof, disappears from wherever it is. And you have toxicity all over your body. It's a systemic toxicity that you're dealing with. So in order for toxicity to leave your body, there are only three ways and not maybe four. One is through your bowel movements. One is through your kidney filtration, meaning your pee. One is, th is through your sweating and through your breathing. And, and some of you, um, through your menst menstrual cycle. That's another way of relieving toxicity. However, these are the only ways. So if you have mental toxicity in a sense that you have maybe heavy metal trapped in the fat in your brain, this in order to remove, to be removed from your brain has to move through your body. And as metals move through your body, you will feel them. It's not pleasant. 
when um, sometimes our kidney are congested or working over time or maybe a little depleted we're not able to use the full and that's why you guys are in the lymphatic glands the full um, um, the full uh, support of the kidneys so we start adding uh, skin issues and a lot of you have shown me show me this and that is showing how your body is still trying to push out toxicity in particular through the skin which is the third kidney right so uh, the body's working, and every time you feel pain, and every time you feel, um, and every time you feel like, you know, I've been doing this for two weeks, but I was expecting this to happen. You have to step back and understand what's happening, right? So what is happening if you've been on the cleanse for two weeks or three weeks, and all of a sudden you feel depleted, you feel moody, and just one of you. Um, message me today about exactly this she's feeling very moody not pleasant to be around okay so this is an opportunity everything you feel is an opportunity is a piece of information and an opportunity a piece of information that your body gives you in response to what you're doing to it so what is the food that you are uh, nourishing your body with the body will react to it now often we think that if we start feeling dizzy or tired uh, some nutritional deficiency may be happening that's why but the truth is that nobody nobody is going to the hospital because you're eating fruit and vegetables and in fact in this time I want you to remember that you are hyper nourishing your body with the most potent fruit available and when you're buying organic is also the most clean food available so the second part of ingesting fruit and vegetables is the ability to leave your body free to go and reset itself right so we know that the body does the healing right self-healing but in order to do that we have to leave it alone to do that to use the energy units the daily energy units to go and reset the imbalances to take care of your thyroid to take care of your hormonal imbalances to take care of your uh, different myalgias and and, and arthritis and um, gut dysbiosis we need to let the body do the work now this is the reason why you are having on juices because the juices are nutrition glucose straight to your through your cells so by doing that you're repl replenishing also your adrenals but as we move through this process as we go and, and the reason why i ask you guys to do your self checks it's to be witnesses observers not to react oh my god my glucose is 95 no it's this just to witness and observe how, how your body will auto modulate and it will uh, I extended this cleanse to six weeks now because I noticed and I after many years that whoever commits to the six weeks is the one that sees the lasting result this sees the true shift so Kelly just wrote something for you guys today about her experience in in the last lymphatic cleanse that she did and you see the photos, the before and after photos, and it's, there's a drastic change. Kelly was very apprehensive when she first started. She had all sorts of neurological issues. Um, she was losing hair. I mean, it, she was very fatigued. Um, she couldn't move her neck. Um, she had to be um, wearing something to sustain her neck. Clearly, she had no energy. Her daughter even mentioned to her that she uh, looked like she was dying. This was six weeks ago, guys, not, not six months ago, not six years ago, six weeks. And the change was impressive. You guys can see it, right? So, and she's currently on vacation with her family. Six weeks ago, she wouldn't have that energy. But Kelly really was able, through struggles at first, because she says herself that she was, a, you know, ready to quit a couple of times. Why do we quit? Because we don't like the sense of discomfort. So... That is another thing that I wanted to discuss with you today, shifting perspective. So when something happens to us that we don't like, we tend to run away from it or try to make it stop as soon as possible. This is how we were raised. And in a sense, um, it's good because it's a self-defense mechanism, like a, in a Darwinism terms, helps us to, to stay alive. So we run away from pain, we run away from anything that could kill us, so that we can stay alive, stay alive and, and continue to per, uh, you know, progress the species. However, when it comes to physical pain and um, emotional pain, we have to really, in this context, you guys, we really have to change perspective on how to look, we look at pain. So pain is a piece of information, it's nothing else. It's a guarantee of the human experience, meaning we all know by the moment we're born that we will experience pain. 
we also know that we're gonna die. It's something that it's it's the only certainty we actually have. So, um, but most of our life, that's what we do. We try to run away from pain and ultimately for death from death. So this is causing a major a major um, chemical reaction in your body because basically you are constantly on a fight or flight mode. You are constantly um, acting from a place of fear. So if you started to have pain on week two or starting to get dizzy or having cravings or feeling unease, the first thought is, I don't want this. How can I make this go away? So you guys reach out to me and you want supplements, you want to change food. What can I do to make this go away? But what if that's the wrong question? What if instead the question was, what does this mean in my body? What is my body trying to tell me? And why don't I instead stop resisting this process, try to mask the symptom to make it go away and work with it? The first thing we need to do, you guys, is to surrender. Surrender to the pain, exactly. And that means take care of yourself. If you're tired, your body's telling you that you need to take a nap. As simple as that because it's moving a big load of toxicity and so it doesn't have energy units left for you to just be out and about okay the other part is quiet your mind your mind is your biggest obstacle so it's important that we realize that we are what we think truly so an experience is just an experience on a soul level and this is the work we do in soul circle on a soul level it's just an experience I am experiencing pain it's not good it's not bad the moment that an experience becomes a good experience or a bad experience is when we turn on our mind, we start attaching meaning to that experience that is seemingly an objective experience. So pain, we often take pain as a negative experience, but it's not an objectively negative experience. It's our mind that turns on, starts attaching meaning. And so the first meaning is, why am I feeling this? Well, am I getting worse? Uh, I was feeling better two days ago, maybe this cleanse is not working, uh, maybe nutritional deficiency, maybe I need more fat, maybe I need my supplements. So all these questions and the meanings that you attach to it, then they become a belief. Once from an objective experience, we're turned that into a belief. So we believe that we're getting worse. We believe that we need this, uh, supplements. We believe that we're not eating enough. We believe we want to make this comfort go away. Once we, we, we approach our progress in, in, into these terms, then we're really um, going further away from where the truth is, and where the powerful uh, opportunity for change is. You guys, if you're here, it's because things have not worked out up to now. Otherwise, you'll be out and about thriving somewhere, right? Um, so um, the reason why you're here is because you want things to change. But in order for things to change outside of you, you need to be the first one to change. And we need to start making different choices and behave differently, start thinking different thoughts. So when we have pain, when we have cravings, when we have a sense of discomfort, this is an opportunity to embrace it, to surrender to the process, give it a six weeks, know that you're doing the best that you can believe it though. Believe that you can do the best that you can for your body and learn from other people's experiences and successes through this process. But this journey is only yours. There isn't one of you that is having the same journey because there isn't one of you that is dealing with the same things. And the same things are not just physical. I mean, physicality, the, the physical part of the pain and the numbness and the tingling, is just a mirror, uh, merely mirroring what's inside. So the emotions are surfacing deal with them go through them because it's the only way out of them so when i ask you guys you know start journaling and i ask you to do that dear diary exercise one two or three four five and six for the weeks do the exercise because just like i tell you that there are different results if you don't end up with a gallon of liquids even just being short of a gallon it's gonna change uh by um by not um, doing the exercise, exercises that I ask you to do, the seem maybe you got no time for it, or you know it's just an uncomfortable thing to do. It will change the result as well. So I invite you guys to take these moments of you know defeat or when you feel a little tired. Like I'm, I'm juicing right now. I'm juicing for for the whole week. And although yesterday I was feeling super strong, and last night I was super strong. Today I'm feeling like a little bit, you know, not as as 
great and I feel a lower back pain, I know my kidneys are working, right? And they're working over time. So I have to take care of myself today. My husband asked me to go for lunch and I said, no, I'm not going. I'm doing this live and I'm going to just take a, a nap. So we have to work with the body, not being afraid of what's happening to the body. The body is there to pr protect you. It's been doing it all along. Even your disease, your thyroid issues, it's because the, the thyroid is working double time to support adrenals or vice versa. You know, any nodules, any fibromas, any, any cysts, your body is there to protect you. So let's embrace, uh, let's embrace what's happening to us. Uh, in a whole new way, sorry you guys, in a whole new way, let's, um, let's really um, discover the amazingness of, of living into this body, into this, this human experience, and almost transcend from the human experience of, you know, I've, I have this pain, I need this to go away, and start to connect the dots as to what does this mean. I mean, Louise Hay wrote a whole book about you can heal yourself and how each part of the body uh, pain has a meaning that is an emotional meaning and once you you're able to heal that the pain will no longer need to exist I mean, there's so much more than just the physicality and what we see in front of us, right? So Please take this opportunity the moment you feel defeated the moment you feel like doubtful the moment you feel down This is the time you want to reach out because this is why you're here. This is why we have a group reach out vent uh, There's there were girls that used to do videos just like mine Come online, shoot, you, shoot a video for yourself, you know, vent, ask us the questions you want to ask, reach out to the group because you guys, the healing happens within the group. This is not you doing it on your own, this is not you and I, this is within the group. So that's why it's important really to read uh, Kelly's testimony uh, today and it's important that you turn on this video and you post and, and you just tell us how you feel. And already there will distract your mind from feeling sorry for yourself, from feeling that you want to give up, from feeling that you are deprived, you are that victim. All this needs to shift. You are empowered. You're taking your health into your own hands. Um, you've been here before. If you've done detoxes or cleanses, you know your body speaks to you. You know that you will feel tired. You know that uh, your bowel movements might change. You know that um, you, know, you might have skin reactions. You know that. So go through it, see through it to get on the other side. And that's why I invite you to use this group more than you were doing, more than just asking a question. Just come out and vent and share your wins. I ask you guys to write down your symptoms at the beginning of the cleanse and also ideally your pain level. So it's important to witness the change because this will affect your mind and, as a, and again, your mind is your biggest obstacle. But the other day I was talking to someone and I asked her, so what's your pain level right now? She said six. And I said, but what's, what's usually your pain level? She said, well, it can get to 10 even more. So, and I said, so well, this is great, right? I mean, your pain level is six, but she looked at me like, yeah, but I still have it. So from outside, I'm thinking that from 10 to six, this is amazing. Now the perception of how soon the pain needed to be gone, this is different and it's totally, um, you know, your guess is good as mine, right? But we want to see the shift things changing, getting better. And I said, when you guys do a graph, you will see the ebb and flows, but you will always go be trending up. So it doesn't matter if today you're not feeling as great as yesterday. Yesterday you feel great, this is amazing. The fact that your body can make you feel energetic, that your tinnitus, that your brain fog, that your dizziness actually subsided for two, three days, even if they're back, it's back today, this is good. If you have one good day, it means you can have many more. So get empowered, get strong, communicate, share with us, and let's go through the next phase. Let's go to the next three weeks. There are gonna be people that we're gonna go deeper and we're going to get to the other side and look like Ellie, okay? See you tomorrow, guys.